on our first spanning demonstration, we showed how you can take a large amount of content that won't fit on one disk and span it over a couple disks. It's a very easy to use software feature in a Ramage system. And now we're going to take a look at what those disks look like when you now need to use them and get some content off the disk. So we're going to click on the icon that says My Disk. And we're going to get a, a box that will come up and list the files on there. We're going to click Span Restore. And this brings up a really powerful dialog uh, box that enables you to see everything you've spanned over all these disks. So you can see I have a lot of marketing content and it allows you to check what you want to restore. So you can select restore and then when you're done you've got the content off your disk and back onto your desktop. So you don't have to worry about what disk the file is on that you need. The system will do that for you and you don't have to have any special software to make this work. So I'm going to go down to the last file on this list because I know that's on disk number two and I want you to see what happens when I pick it. So I'm going to select the file that says user guides and manuals. I'm going to say okay that's the one I want. Please restore this uh, particular file and I'm going to say just put it on my desktop. So I'm going to click OK here and then something cool happens. The tray on my PC pops out and it says that disk number one is currently in the drive. Disk number two is needed to continue restoring the current file. Now all I have to do is put disk number two in click OK and that file will automatically get copied to my desktop. This works on any PC without any special software and it's a great way to put a bunch of files or to back up your computer or offload content onto disks, not have to worry about which disk it's on and let the spanning software do that for you.